All right, guys. Say hi, Marley. Hi, Marley. Oh, God. Not technically hi, Marley. <laughs> Mom's room is a mess. Look at this. Look at this. Are you going to help me clean? Okay. 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 Are you going to really help me clean? Are you going to be nice, Marley, and help Mommy clean? Can you help me make it smaller? Well, I got to set it up to where we see what we're cleaning because Mommy's room is a mess. So let's clean. And her definition of cleaning is just taking everything that's off the floor and putting it on the bed. You know what? I'll take any help that I can get from my baby because she's so helpful and I love her. So thank you, Marley. So let's get to cleaning. So I'm about to take these knobs off of the hutch here. You can kind of see what we did, like a really crappy job of filling in the holes. So I'm gonna go back to that look with just um, an actual handle, because I think I like that better. I couldn't find anything. <clears throat> I gotta clean that bottom too. Couldn't find anything to go on the bottom handle, so I gotta probably look around for those. I got these from Hobby Lobby, so let me work on that. Taking these off. So we're at Pop Shelf, and look what they have. Look at this. Granted, they are plastic, but they look really nice, and they have like the these as well. They are $3 as well. Oh my god. I love those. They have a few patriotic things, not a lot. Yeah, so Pop Shop has a bunch of cute stuff. That would be perfect on the table. Ooh, look at this. really cute also saw a little tray here oh it's a uh, um, lazy Susan oh look at that oh my god look at this and no it's plastic that's only $12 Oh, let me pause this video. I am watching 
naturally pumpkin hi girl if you are watching this video i love her channel as a matter of fact let me shout her out she loves halloween she loves um home decor she has started gardening and i have been like so interested in that because i was just like girl she makes it look so easy so guys go check her out i'll leave her link in the description bar she is such a blast to watch i love discovering new people especially people that love halloween and she loves halloween so naturally pumpkin if you're watching this love you girl um i finally found some reasonable chairs on marketplace the guy was actually selling the whole table uh, but of course i don't eat the table but i wanted some nice size chairs and i asked him he was selling the table and the chairs for like 150 dollars. and i asked him um i was like um i'm so interested in just the chairs would you possibly just sell me the chairs and everybody that i've asked um if they could sell the chairs separately has almost like been like snooty and snotty towards me so he was just like absolutely i'll sell you the chairs for 50 dollars. i did not expect them to be this big they are perfect i actually thought they were much smaller because when you see them on pictures pictures usually don't you know do the actual product justice but these were huge and of course you know you can see we got the bench on the other side i may move the bench on this side and the chairs on the opposite side i don't know i just love the way it looks now also also you guys know justin and i are in our black era and we are loving it we were thinking about the chairs and the legs of the table because we can easily take the tabletop off like that's not a big deal we built this table we can easily take the tabletop off and spray the um the chairs and the legs black and the only reason why i say that is because all the like accessories in the kitchen are black like the knobs on the the handles the stove is black you know i just feel like or should we just keep it white what are y'all feeling like do you think the black would like pop i'll insert a picture here and we were just like uh, we're kind of unsure about that so i don't know um i do want to get some new curtains i love my buffalo check curtains but i think those are getting a little old i want to refresh them i got those from home goods and i'm pretty sure i can always find them or should i just keep them um, it's not a big deal. I just wanted to um, <laughs> just refresh them a little bit. Once you've, I think they've been up for like three years. And after you've washed them and, you know, all that good stuff, they kind of fade over time. So I don't know. So let me get back to watching Naturally Pumpkins uh, weekly vlog. And I have to make breakfast. Marley fell asleep on me this morning. She usually gets up at like four or five o'clock in the morning and comes in my room and snuggles with me and Justin and then falls asleep when he gets ready to go to work. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and make her some breakfast so it'll be ready for her when she wakes up. I'll probably have to sweep the kitchen and clock in the work. But let me know what y'all think about the table. Should we keep it white or should we color it black? All right, we're in Five Below and I have disco balls for $5 here. They have different colored ones as well. Those are cute. I think I'll get some of these for um, New Year's Eve. I think I'll get like two of them. But they have a ton of them. So many. Thank you, thank you. So everybody is getting like a little dollar section, which is great because you get a 24 pack of crayons. For a dollar there's a bunch of toys wow. so moms if you like me and love to go in the target dollar spot or dollar tree and you get you some cheap toys that they're only going to play with for about five minutes great idea great idea these little dollar spots are perfect what is this these are erasers she found a slinky dinky these 
are adorable. They're nice and heavy too for um, summer. And then they have the container here, like the dis drink dispenser. They have it in a watermelon as well. And they also have the cup in a watermelon. Girl, I can put me a margarita in here and sit on the deck. Okay, five below. Okay. What is that? A scrubby? Yes, scrubby. Why do you need that? I need that. This my tongue. You don't need that. You think you do. I love these mirrors. Even if you don't like the color, you can always take them and like spray paint them. They're so cute. And I'm seeing them everywhere. Oh, they have a white one. And then this green, really cool. I would have had a field day if this stuff was out when I was 13, 14. Cause I mean, it's $5. Look at this, you have a flower mini table. This is like so 90s though. How 90s is this? Okay, this is kind of genius. It's a noodle sponge. It's an actual sponge, but it looks like noodles. That's, I don't know. I find stuff like that really cool. So we're back in the fall section, so a little bit is slowly showing back up. Of course, I have her with me. Guys, I, don't, I didn't see these last year. These are really, really pretty. Really cute. Also, how stinking adorable are these? I can't. I can't with the fall already. I can't. That's why I'm excited. But I think this is all they have. I don't see any more. I surely thought there would be more coming in because I came in last week. And Christmas. Oh yeah, it's that time of the year. Christmas is definitely right around the corner. I'm curious to see what that stock room looks like back there. I bet it is a holiday mess. <laughs> yeah, I'll be back probably all this week to see if they have anything new as far as fall. Because it's coming. It is on its way. I love these so much. But they are still $200. 40% off. Jesus. She wanted to try the lemonade stand. If you, you see, you can go back there. Go back here, baby. Go back that way. Did you, oh my goodness, you got in there. How'd you get in there? Are you selling lemonade? Oh my goodness. It's a lemon. It's a lemon. That is so cute. It's a lemonade. It's a lemonade stand. Y'all, she got in there. <laughs> Marley will find a way. Hey, here's some lemons right here. Hey, can you make me a small lemonade? Okay. Here's my cup. Thank you. All right, I'll be sitting here waiting on my lemonade. Uh-oh, she's got to read the instructions. You got to read the instructions on how to do it. How much, how much is this lemonade going to cost me, ma'am? Your lemonade is going to be so good. I'll be okay. I don't think she's making my lemonade, you guys. She's actually cleaning up her station. So how's your day going? The day going is the first lemon that we could. This is your first sale? Okay. Yeah, your first sale will to be... Lemon, the lemon tree, okay. and the Alright, well, um, is it going to take long? Your lemon is going to be so exciting. <laughs> I like that. Ma'am, you're doing a lot of talking and you're not making the lemonade. What's going on? Here's the lemon juice. Okay, thank you. Ooh, let me try it. Mm, it looks delicious. Wow! 
That is great. That was great. Thank you. How much do I owe you? Oh, you going that's how you made it? <laughs> you don't have to you don't have to show me how you made it. I'll trust you. So it's free. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Have a good day. Coco Melon, can I have this money? Sure. All right, so. You're right. You're too big. You're too big for it. It's for babies. I'm not too big. Yes, you are. Cheers. That's for babies. So apparently I was too big to have lunch with Marley. Well, I feel lemonade. left out, so and I'm just gonna go. She is literally over there having a conversation. Coca Melon. She's like, How's your day? And I feel like the third wheel. Just stopping by. How's lunch? It was the lunch for you. Okay. Goodbye. All right, you guys. I have no clue what I'm doing. But I have to make two little side centerpieces. They're not even considered centerpieces for a pergola. And I'm just gonna wing it because I don't even know how to do it. Like, should I drape it on the side? Or I like what? Those. I like those swimming noodles. I know, but we're not using them for swimming. Ah, oh, I have no idea how to do this. I may have to run up to the place and see how to do this, because I am lost. But I am gonna start with the flowers. I have a ton of these. And this stuff is going to get everywhere. So. When Dad comes home, I will be my flowers. You'll be your flowers? Yeah. I'm a little mom. You're a little mom? Yeah. Oh, I God. Oh, of course you are. All right. So, let, let me think this over. All right, guys. It's so hot outside. It, I, I honestly don't think it was supposed to be this warm out. Um, the son just said I am here. I just called the venue uh, The lady at the venue and I was like, hey, I'm like five minutes from your shop or from the venue Can I place that by she was like, yeah, I live like two minutes away um, If you need me call me but you are more than welcome to go on the ground and do whatever you need to do So Marley and I are heading up there really quick. It is literally around the corner from our house so I have to go measure this pool noodle and see what I need to do so we'll be back all right we're here the beautiful venue I love it it's perfect we got Marley in tow so we just need to go back here to the pergola and figure this out so you guys remember the chair that I bought for the um for the pictures I'm thinking right here for like a picture setting. It's hard to explain, but I'm thinking right there for the pictures. And this is where the chairs will be right here leading into the pergola. So I'm gonna set this up. I'm gonna get some measurements going, okay, Mars?
right, you ready? Mom's done. Come on. Huh? Come on, silly. Do you like it? I know it's cool, right? Come on. <laughs> Guys, before we left, I was like, Marley, put your shoes on, we gotta go. Mommy has to go run down the street. She's like, I gotta poop. And I was like, you haven't pooped all day. Literally was playing. I know. She was literally playing with popcorn, but it's only when mom needs to do something is when she has a ton of things to do. No, we can't go up there. Come on. I know. How many? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 25 squares. You ready to go? This is what I have. I hope you guys can see that. Let me zoom out a little bit, hold on. Yeah, this is all I've come up with. I don't think I'm gonna have enough. I think I'm gonna have to incorporate a different type of flower into this. I mean, it is a fall wedding, so I can see if I can come up with like something orange or brown to add to this. But this is where we are. I love it. Um, two problems. You can still see the paint through it. And I think I figured out a solution for that. Um, they use like a grass, some type of grass, um, like those grass walls. And they wrapped it around the pool noodle so you couldn't see it because I feel like Looking at that, you can see the pink through it. And that's not what we want. We want you to be able to look at this and not see any pinkness. Um, I didn't want to spray paint this because I, I think when you spray paint like certain types of material, it'll eat it up. So we may have to try to figure out um, what to do to wrap the pool noodle first. But this is an idea of what I want, but we gotta figure out, we gotta figure out how to cover it. So that's another thing. Also, let me show you an idea that I had as well. I also wanted to add the flowers to the mirror here somehow. Um, I saw this really cool idea where they, I don't even know how they tacked it onto the mirror, but it was like a little piece like that. I hope you guys can see that. They put it on the mirror like that. And then I'll have my, like, welcome to our wedding, little decal on here. Um, just like that. So, what do you think? How in the hell did they zip tie it? Okay. You can probably zip tie it. Okay. Okay, 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 zip tie it. So, again, this is another indication of how I want it to be on the pergola. So you guys saw the pergola was like that and I just want it to kind of come over like this on the pergola. Oh God. I'm getting nervous now because I see the visions and they're actually coming too, but I'm just like, I hope I have enough material to achieve what I'm trying to achieve. I really, really do. But we don't know. We stopped by Home Good and look at this planner. This is unreal. How much is this? I'm pretty sure this will be gone. This will be gone in a few days. 
look how unreal that is. There's not a price on it. But that would be so cool as a planner on the side of the house or in the front of your house. So cool. All right, guys, so I did a little experiment to see if I can actually spray paint the pool noodle, and it worked. Um, I just needed to cover up a little bit of the pink. Um, so I didn't put it on the back because I didn't think it would be a big deal. Um, it looks pretty dry, so let's take it in the house and see if we can add the floral to it. So we spray painted the pool noodles, only the back side of them, and um, filled them with all of the floral that I had. It looks like I might have to buy at least $100 more of this stuff because this is two full ones, almost, almost full. I almost got this one completely full. But the trick to this is if you're doing it to drape it across something, don't necessarily um, think too hard into it. I think I was thinking too hard into it and just trying to perfect it. But the sloppier, the better. Because it looks full, even without me trying. Of course, I'm going to order at least $100 more of this stuff and um, do that last pool noodle that I have. Cause I only honestly need three, unless I'm doing a table runner. I think I am gonna try and do a runner for the table for Justin and I, but the table may not be big cause the little reception area is very tiny. We're having a very small wedding, 20 to 25 people. Girl, <laughs> that's in the budget. So I might do a table runner of one of these as well. Uh, again, don't think too hard into this. Kind of just wing it, go with the flow. I think I was thinking entirely too hard on it and almost like psyching myself out. But oh, this is adorable. I love it. All right, you guys, so. I have to turn it this way. Because for some reason, this little mirror right here does not want to cross. Okay, so I'm going to turn it this way. Mars. All right, it looks kind of wonky. I didn't broke a sweat out here, but this is how I want the chair to look. <sighs> Ignore that little part down there. I thought I was gonna do it with zip ties. That didn't work for your girl, and this is like hanging on by a thread. So I gotta figure out what I'm gonna use. Please give me some suggestions, <laughs> please. I need what I can stick to this couch here. Girl, I use duct tape. Look at what I did. Don't judge me. I use duct tape. It's working for the time being. 
but it won't work always. Plus, I just need this side seen when we're taking pictures. Um, yeah, this is the way I wanted it to look for the chair. So, let me know. All right, I had to share this bit of information with you guys because I know somebody out there in the world will probably resonate with this. But there is, okay, there's my pinky toe and then there's my fourth little piglet, but the skin in between my pinky toe and that toe is so sensitive that I always have to have like either somebody's finger in between that or my sandals. I have a pair of sandals, I actually have those on now, that I love to wear in the summertime because they have a scrap that, strap, they have a strap that I can just rest that skin in between and it feels so good. I don't know what it's called. I need to look this up to see what this, cause this is weird. And I've always been like this. Like when Justin's rubbing my feet, I always have to tell him to take his finger and just rub it in between that pinky. I don't know, it's very odd. Very. Other than that, another thing I cannot stand is like my toenails. I don't, if I could go without having toenails on my feet, I would be okay. I would totally be okay with that. I don't like my toe, I don't like I don't like shoes, socks, sheets. I don't like anything scraping against my toenails. So I keep my toenails so, 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 so short that it's weird. Like when you look at my feet, it's weird. Like my feet haven't been, I, ha I need to go get a pedicure. Whenever I get a pedicure at the nail shop, I cut my, my big toe toenail down so short I'm talking about like it is like you can see the skin on my actual toe because I hate when they use that scraper and go under my toe. Oh my God. I don't know what it is about my feet, girl. I don't like toenails. That skin in between my toes is sensitive. I don't know what it is about my feet, but it's just, I don't know. Like, let me show y'all what my feet look like now because I just clipped my toenails and um, don't laugh at me because my nail polish has grown out so much that it is definitely time for a pedicure and a polish. But I just, I don't like people touching my feet unless it's just they're rubbing them and my toenails are like a nub. Let me just show you. And as you can see, the polish has grown out so much that you know that's just that's how much the polish has grown out because i've been clipping my toenails down to nubs like this is a suitable like size for my toenails but as you can see like i don't i don't like a nail on my pinky toe at all i don't care if y'all find that weird addy and justin make fun of me because they're like tasha there's no nail like what do you want me to cut there's no nail. i don't want there to be a nail on my pinky toe like at all but you can see that skin, oh, this feels so good to have something in between my toenails. So you know I have a few people watching me. Am I the only one that's weird like this about their feet? Like, see, I even clipped my toe, my, my big toe, but that's actually too long for me. So I'm probably gonna clip it in a few days just so when I go in and get a pedicure, she can't do that thing under my toe. Oh my God, I hate that. When they put that little instrument under your toes, under your nail, and they lift it a little bit and they dig that dirt out, hate it, absolutely hate it. But I know I'm not the only person on this planet that feels like this. Like that sensation that I feel in between my toes. <sighs> oh girl, and it's ashy. Oh, my toes, oh, it's, let me go, bye. Hi everyone, I got a little free time. I haven't been in stores in about a week, a solid week. So new inventory should be here. I'm curious to see what they have for summer. I haven't been to Target in like two weeks and y'all know I'm always in Target. I'm trying to see if there's anything new at the Target dollar spot, my favorite home goods. Um, I'm gonna skip Michael's today because I don't think anything new is at Michael's. I came and parked like literally in the middle of the parking lot and somebody just parked right next to me. Like, why does this always happen? So yeah, I may skip Michael's, hit Ross, 
in Target um, for today. I don't know. I'm not trying to be out too late. We have to go pick out uh, the wood for the shutters because we are officially almost done. Or we're almost done with the house. Like we just need to paint the back and do the shutters. But other than that, we are, and it looks so bomb. I'm trying to get that video out as soon as possible. But let's get, let's go see what they have. These are really pretty. They're $34.99. Those would be really pretty on the mantle for summer. But I don't need any more lemon anything. Guys, I saw this pink little section over here. Look at these carts. The carts are adorable. I don't know how much they are. $60? Yeah, $59. But this whole little pink flamingo area. Adorable. Look at that. These are plastic. I don't think I've gotten to this point as a homeowner <laughs> where I put stuff like this in the flower bed or in the front yard. I think I'll eventually get there. I'm just not there yet. The dragon is still there. I would totally get that for Halloween because that's really cool. <gasps> I actually like these. In the... Um, flower bed. Those would be really cute. I totally just broke that. Oops. This makes me want to go to the beach. see so much of the radon in this. I thought this was radon. It's not. It's just Disney. Um, but I think, no, all of this is just Disney collection. room like a neutral room this would be really really cute I saw this on my way out those are so cute look at those earrings mama cute so I am in Target and it looks like the summer collection is out like the camping I think they do this every year that's cool looks like these are puzzles maybe happy camper i'm not a camper so i did see these little 
canteen water bottles that are really cool. Five dollars. Those are really cute, actually. They come in green and blue. Make it a little s'more. This is cute little cat Oh, that's cute. That'd be cute to like add decor to your living room or something. National Park. I remember the cups that I saw at Five Below. These are cheaper. These are three dollars. So they had like a cactus and flamingo. So these are a little cheaper. Still glass as well. Oh, there's more. I think I'm gonna grab another one of these for summer. One for Addie and one for Mars. This is like. A watermelon popsicle and then that's just the regular popsicle also hearth and hand has their new collection these are really cute are these like functional it's a bluetooth radio oh my god that's really cool to have it's giving me like campy vibes all this stuff like like the collection at the target dollar spot Oh, they have a white one back there. I wonder if these work. Let's see. <gasps> How adorable is that? And it does come in white. And I got some tumblers. That are really cool. I love these little cups here too. Oh, I didn't see this one. That's cool. How much is that? $44. $44.99. Alright, hi everybody. I'm back from Target. I did pick up some stuff, but I need to put up the um, Halloween items that I found. I don't know if you guys have saw this video, but to fill in the void of Halloween, I am going to thrift with me's Halloween uh, versions all summer long. So um, if you guys want to watch that video, I will link it here. That was really fun to do. And like I said, again, it fills the void of not being able to hunt during the summer. So if you guys want to check that out, check that out. Also, I wanted to mention what I got my hands on this Halloween season. I got my hands on the skeleton puppy. Oh my God, yesterday was crazy. It released yesterday at 5 a.m. I was up, honestly, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I was up all night. I think I got like 30 minutes of sleep between 9 p.m. and 6 a.m. honestly because I was so excited. We thought the release was gonna hit at 12 a.m. It didn't. We thought it was gonna hit at 3 a.m. It, it didn't. We thought it was gonna hit at 5 a.m. It hit at 5 but it was like close to 5 30 uh because I think I placed my order at like 5 40. So I got my hands on the puppy. I already have some really cool ideas for the puppy. I am gonna try and do like a spiked collar along with a like spike leash for the 12 footer it's crazy because even though a lot of us ordered yesterday like i just checked somebody's post and they got theirs like on their doorstep today insane insane mine is still saying uh processing so i'm not gonna stress out about it because if you guys remember Last year, when I ordered the 12 foot skeleton, that was a whole like thing. And I don't want to worry myself with that again, but I finally got it. So I'm just going to hold off on, you know, because a lot of people are saying their, their, uh, their items shipped and we just ordered it yesterday at 5 a.m. But um, I'm happy for the people that have gotten them today. I'm going to live through them. But I do want to share with you what I picked up at target today addison and i have clothes to wear for the fourth of july um, but marley didn't have anything and i saw this cute little dress here for only look at that eight dollars 
So I grabbed this for her. For her, it's just the like it's a vibrant red dress and it has like stars on them. I don't know, like a star plant on them. I don't know. This is cute, perfect for summer. It was the perfect red for um, summertime. I also finally found the other cup. So one's Addie's and one's Marley's. Um, this one is just like a strawberry. It's a strawberry, uh, no, not strawberry. Is it strawberry or watermelon? I don't know. It's one of the two. Watermelon, maybe. But I got this one for um, Addie as well. Um, I'm going to clean these, fill them with either juice or water, freeze them, and when we get park days, this is what we're going to take to the park. And the last item I grabbed, I did not have a doormat for the front door. I just wanted to grab this one. I do like the doormats from Target because they have some for like all types of holidays and just like regular ones. I thought this one was really cute and it'll go with the house perfectly now. So that's all I grabbed you guys.